Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most a furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nitz. show we have to play outside all day doodle the jolly fruit bunch and make an awesome clay pot welcome to my brilliant show it's the weekend i'm gonna do a 20 episode jolly fruit bunch tv marathon but it's a bit sunny i better block that out so i can see the tv properly Hey, how come he gets to watch TV? I'm going to be sitting down for a long time, so I want to be comfortable. I've got full control of the remote and snug socks. I've even got a door snake. So they can't hear me and I can't hear them. And relax. Let's watch the... See, he's watching TV again. Tom, it's lovely and sunny. You don't want to spend all day inside. Ah, uh, I really do. You already had lots of screen time this morning. You can never watch too much Jolly Fruit Bunch. It's the Jolly Fruit Bunch. Ah! We're so fruity. I'm sweet. Oh, no, I peeled myself. See? Get some fresh air. It'll do you good. <sighs> I bet it doesn't. Hey! The Jolly Fruit Bunch! It's the Jolly Fruit Bunch! Cut and relax. That's a wrap, everybody. What's next? Go it! Sweet! Hey! Can somebody peel me back up? Somebody call my agent. I'm not doing this anymore. Hi. The Jolly Fruit Bunch is Tom's favourite TV programme and I'm going to show you how to draw them. How about that? And you're going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with, pens, coloured pens, I'm using brush pens, and maybe some coloured pencils as well. Great stuff! So let's start at the top here. I'm going to draw a pineapple. It's a nice big oval shape, spiky top, one big eye and one smaller eye. Very jolly. And let's give him or her a little ukulele to play. And just a few lines. Let's do a banana like that. It's a very jolly banana. Dancing with the maracas. How about a jumping plum? <laughs> jumping in the air. And some singing grapes. It's a tiny little face there. One down there. And it's almost like this one is holding them all up. Oh, I see. I know, let's do an orange. You know, oranges have those little dents in them, so I'm just doing a few dots. How about strawberry? Very happy strawberry. Last but not least, a pear. Now I've done the black outline, I'm going to colour them in. Wow, now I am excited. So I'm using these pens, but you can use crayons or felt tips or anything else that you want to. See, I'm doing it really roughly, so you don't have to be, like, perfect when you're colouring things in. I was always very messy at colouring when I was a kid. There we go. I'm going to use green now. Do the top of the pineapple. What else is green? Oh, the pear. And do a little touch of green on the strawberry and on the orange. Colour in the strawberry. Use a pencil for this. If I coloured it all in solid purple, you wouldn't be able to see their faces. So I'm just colouring around the edges. Let's use purple for purple plum. Just adding a little bit of blue. It's like a shadow. Strings, a few little movement lines, shadow underneath. I like using a pencil because it gives a slightly different texture. So I'm going to add a few musical notes. Love it! There we are. That's the Jolly Fruit Bunch. They make for very colourful characters. Welcome to my show. 
My plan to eat snacks and watch TV all day has been ruined by Delia. Now, Mum and Dad have made me get some fresh air. Eh, uh, it's not so bad. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> Tom! I'm trying to work. Sorry. <sighs> huh? <laughs> hey, thanks for the ball, Rista. Brilliant. Oh. Uh, Tom, please. <laughs> Could you find something quieter to do? Yeah. No. Oh, come on, I could have got to level nine. Why didn't I save it? Hmm. 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 I think it's time I got creative. And you can get creative too. It's make it! You don't have to go outside to enjoy the garden. Let's make our very own flower pot. You will need some tissue paper in different colours, a large paintbrush, a small paintbrush, a paper straw, a pen, some PVA glue, a clean jar, some paper clips, and scissors. Be careful with scissors! And a glue stick? We've already got glue. Oh, all right. Here we go. Got all that? Let's get making! Cut a piece of tissue for the main colour of your jar. Make sure it is just a little bit higher than the jar. Squeeze a little PVA glue on every side of your jar. Add glue to the base. Wrap your tissue paper around the jar until your whole jar is covered. Leave to dry. Now it's time to decorate. Cut out shapes from the other tissue paper like this and use the PVA glue to stick it on. Can you guess what it is yet? Take your pens and add details. Yes, it's a monster! You can also just draw straight onto the jar like this. Oh, oh that's great. Now let's make some flowers. Take a folded bunch of tissue paper so you have lots of layers and draw a flower shape on the top like this. Cut out the shape through all the layers at once. This can be tricky, so ask a grown-up for help if you need it. Separate the layers and place them on top of each other, changing their position slightly each time. So many layers. Take a paper clip and unfold one side. Very carefully push both ends of the paper clip through the layers to hold them all together. Mind your fingers. Gently move the layers up to create your 3D flower. Carefully push the paper clip into the top of your straw like this. Try out different shapes and sizes to create all sorts of amazing flowers. What a beauty! Welcome to my British show! Delia might have ruined my day of TV, but I found something useful to do. Oh well, it nearly worked. Let's try again. Tom, how about doing something useful? Um, that's what this is. <sighs> to prove you're the biggest Jolly Fruit Bunch fan by playing the Jolly Fruit Bunch quiz. We're so sweet and jolly, 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 jolly fruit bunch. bunch. Question one. Which member of the Jolly Fruit Bunch has the catchphrase, Oh no, I peeled myself. Is it A, Satsuma Zuma, B, the bouncing blueberries, or C, banana nana? Time's up! 
The answer is C. Banana Nana. Oh no, I peeled myself. Question two. Complete this phrase from the Jolly Fruit Punch Christmas special. Tis the season to be. Is it A? Sweet. Is it B? <laughs> or is it C? Rotary! <laughs> Answer is C, of course. Tis the season to be fruity! Question three. What is the Jolly Fruit Bunch's favourite drink? Is it A? A spicy sausage smoothie? Is it B? A welly boot full of muddy water and a very rude frog? Or is it C? A Jolly Fruity Juicy Ice Cream Float? So yummy. The answer is A, the sausage smoothie. I'm kidding. The answer is C, a jolly fruity juicy ice cream float. We're in so yummy. It's kind of weird that they drink fruit, but never mind. <sighs> Fine. Water the flowers. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh dear. Oops. Delia, Tom's going to watch TV. The Jolly Fruit Bunch! Oh, I peeled myself again. Seriously? You can always go in the garden, get some fresh air. It'll do you good. Um, and you might want to hang your washing up again now, Delia. What do you mean again? Mm -hmm.